Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's going on between you and your person, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what you need. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. All right. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. Show me what it is that I need to see for my Virgos. Show me what I need to see. All right, my loves. Let's see. How does your person currently feel about you? What's my Virgos person's current feelings for my Virgo? Eight of Swords. So this person's all in their head about you. All in their head about you. This person, I get an energy of somebody here. Like they're kind of in a mental prison when it comes when it comes to you. Yeah. What is the challenges between my Virgo and their person? Judgment. Scorpio energy. Hmm. I feel like this is two individuals trying to get on the same page. That's what I'm getting in this energy. Like that's the current challenge right now, present moment, you and your person getting on the same page. This is like two. This is like opposing forces is what I'm getting. I'm getting a, an opposing force between you and your person. Eight of swords, your person is thinking about you a lot. For some of you guys, this person kind of feels stuck in a situation with you. This person kind of feels stuck in their head. They're not seeing something for what it truly is when it comes to you. No. What's my Virgo's person's intentions towards my Virgo? What's this person's intentions? We have the two of crystals. So there's no action as of yet. But this person is contemplating their future steps. They have a decision to make. King of crystals. Look at that. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So this person is going to be taking action. This person's just trying to do things the right way from what I'm seeing here. That's their intentions. Their intentions is to take action towards you. But this person wants to come towards you correct. They want to come towards you confident. They want to come towards you. For some of you guys, this person wants to come towards you looking better, feeling better. This person wants to be more confident in their steps is what I'm hearing when they take action towards you. What's this person's actions towards my Virgos? Wow, okay. So this person is guarded. Two of diamonds, there's some juggling, but the ace of swords. Okay, so there's clear communication that this person wants to talk. There's clear communication that this person wants to talk. Seven of swords, this person wants to... Hmm... That seven of swords, there's a tricky, there's, there's trick, there's, there's a trickster energy here with that two of diamonds. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody here. This person, this person could be juggling. This person may come in truly trying to, uh, I'm, I feel like for some of you guys, this person's true actions is trying to play you like ace of swords. This person's going to speak some truth. But for some of you guys, this person's going to have some type of attachment when they do come in to talk to you, when they do come in to clear the air, because Ace of Swords is a lot about communication, honest and open communication. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with somebody that really and truly, they're going to be honest with the fact that they are connected to something else. But the thing about it is this person is a trickster. Like if you give this person any open-ended opportunity, 
they will mm, yeah this person this person would play with you and someone else yeah show me spirit but this person is going to be honest you know i saw something on instagram this past weekend and they were talking about how a person feels like okay if a guy like if a guy or girl however that goes if they lie to you but who okay if they whoever they lie to or whoever they're honest with who do they care about the most and they were saying that the person that they lie to is the person that they care about the most because they're trying to protect that person's feelings but the person they're being honest with yeah 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 that's the energy that i'm getting like the person they're being honest with that's the person they care about the least because they don't care about your feelings that's the energy i'm getting right here like that's the energy that I'm getting right here with this two of crystals. I don't see that this person has taken action. Their intention is to come towards you looking good, feeling good. Like this is like giving almost an, they have intentions. It's almost like they're wanting you when they come towards you. They're trying to make it. They're trying to make it hard for you to resist them. That's what I'm getting. Let's see. What's your feelings for this person? What's your feelings for this person? And I feel like that's why there's a conflict. That, that conflict is judgment right now, present moment. Because you and this person, you're not seeing eye to eye. So we have the seven of crystals with the king of diamonds. I don't feel like you, like I feel like you feel what's up like because that they both came out in the reverse virgo taurus capricorn energy and i feel like you see it for what it is that seven of crystals is telling me like you know you're you don't you don't have high hopes that's what i'm getting here like you i'm not getting an energy of you having high hopes about this connection about this person there's something about this person here with this seven of crystals. There's something that's nagging you about this person. King of diamonds could be another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person could ha not have much to offer. This person could not be trying to offer you anything solid, anything of substance. For some of you guys, this person actually has, but they're not sharing. They're not giving. They haven't given you a solid offer. You know, and I feel like there's something that's nudging at you. But you see, I feel like that's why that judgment is here. I feel like it's like two people that are just not coming into alignment. That's the getting the getting the solid offer is a big issue. That's the biggest challenge. Moving to the next step, to the next phase in this connection. Yeah. What's the potential outcome, spirit? What's the potential outcome between my Virgo and this person? Strength in the world. Okay. Mm yeah. See that? Some beautiful cards, actually. Some absolutely beautiful cards. The world is telling me something has come full circle. Ten of Cups. Something has come full circle. What you don't see is that you're going to get your happiness. See that bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups? What you don't see is that you're going to get your happiness. Your happiness may not be in the form of, may not be with this person. It may or may not. We're going to see what's going on here. We're going to see what's going on here. But with the world and with strength, like, you know your worth, your potential, you know all of this. The world, you're manifesting a new life for yourself. You see that? So this is a cycle. This is you closing out what does not serve you. And this is you standing in your strength. This is your, you have the confidence. You have the confidence and you have the fortitude. So whether this relationship, this connection works or not, you know that you're going to be okay. You know that you're going to be okay. It's definitely going to take strength. It's definitely going to take strength. What you don't see coming is that you're going to have the Ten of Cups. For some of you guys, that Ten of Cups could come in the form of work, a career, a business. It could not come in a form of a relationship. Nine of Diamonds, you see that? Some of you guys may end up single, beautiful, handsome, abundant, taking care of yourself, living your best life, traveling the world. 
nothing nobody's ever said it's going to be easy though nobody's ever said that it's going to be easy you're going to have moments but look at that i do see love i do see love coming in but it's going to be after a moment of solitude it's going to be after a moment of solitude and look at that ace of wands ace of crystals like you're going to get the love it may not be in the form of this because for some of you guys i see that love that that true ten of cups being a business being a job a career that's where you're going to find your fulfillment at before before you get this before you truly get this that's what i see coming for you guys all right let's clarify some of this so we have the eight of swords that's this person's current feelings about you some of you guys i think this person thinks you're a little crazy i'm just saying some of you guys i feel like this person thinks you're a little crazy show me this eight of swords for this person's feelings for my virgos so we have the high priestess i got this energy for you guys yesterday with the two of wands here like you're dealing with somebody that really thinks highly of you with all honesty like this person that's why this person's all in their head about you because you're dealing with someone here that really and truly thinks highly of you you got this high priestess if y'all watched my reading yesterday the high priestess and the empress came out just like this again so you guys you're dealing with someone here that is that really does think highly of you i gotta give that to this person i do i have to give the, that to this person this person's actions may be a little questionable but the way that they truly the respect that they have for you their actions may be questionable <laughs> but they do know your worth like this person knows your worth their actions may be questionable <laughs> but they do i see that you know this person this person could have a, another opportunity like this person could have somebody else i'm telling you in their energy yeah this person is currently like this person is it's like contemplating whether you're a, whether you're going to be a part of their future like that's what i feel like this person is considering their options right now but this person sees you as an option i'm gonna be honest this person does see you as an option you're a very formidable that's what i'm hearing you're very formidable like you are very yeah but i feel like that's intimidating to this person as well i feel like that's intimidating to this person as well because you're the high priestess you're the empress you're all all knowing anything that you want you manifest this into your life everything with you is about future like you're constantly evolving you're constantly thinking of your next steps you have a really good um aura like you really do have a really good aura about you and i you know how i feel that you have a good aura about you because i keep seeing this person's feelings for you i keep seeing this person's emotions for you i keep seeing how this person sees you which tells me a lot which really and truly tells me a lot but this person is weighing their options. You, you are an option. Show me spirit. So I see in your challenges, we have judgment that talks about major life decisions, that talks about choices. It talks about decisions. It also talks about legal matters, but I feel like this is like two opposing forces. Show me judgment, Scorpio energy. Ace of wands. Something's bubbling up under the surface. There's a lack of direction in this connection. That Ace of Wands came out in the reverse. Yeah, there's a lack of direction here when it comes to you and this person. There's not... I feel like the communication is off. I feel like there's things that's bubbling up under the surface, but nobody's being like, nobody's truly taking action. Nobody's truly is expressing their true intent, their true feelings, their true emotions. Like there's things, there's things underneath the surface that's bubbling up between you and this person. I feel for some of you guys, you both want to choose each other, but there's an ego here. For some of you guys, 
you, this person there, the conflict is that you want a second chance, but nobody's talking. Nobody's talking, nobody's taking any actions, but there's things that are bubbling up under the surface, but you're lacking direction because there's no communication here because there's no communication. So that's why it's lacking direction here. And I feel like this, this, this person is actually weighing their options. I feel like you're weighing your options. I feel like you both are weighing your options for the future. While you both may have each other as a perspective, there's other perspectives as well. Yeah. Now with this person's intentions, you have the two of crystals and the king of crystals. Show me this two of crystals. Show me this two of crystals. We have the eight of swords again. Somebody trying to find the strength to release. There's some, there's some limiting beliefs here. For some reason in the 10 of coins, the love of money, old money, married for money. Hmm. Yeah, that came out in the reverse. Like, I feel, I don't know if this person, like, this person's not sure that they want to commit to you. No. Like, there's a, there's a, there's a feeling of setting, it says escaping. There's doubt here. Someone wanting to be set free. Someone feels, you know what? I feel like this person feels like they're, it's almost like this person feels stuck. Some of you guys, you may be dealing with somebody that wants to have an open relationship or someone here that wants to, they want the benefits of being with you, but they want the freedom of not being with you. Like that's what I'm getting in this energy. Like this person, yeah. This person wants all the benefits of being with you, but they don't want to be tied down. This person doesn't want to be tied down. And I feel like this person would choose the person that would allow them to run, run free. King of coins again. This is somebody that's greedy, possessive. Yeah, jealous, stubborn, ungrounded. Yeah, this person is extremely ungrounded. This person is extremely ungrounded. While this per and this person looks good. This person looks good and this person has so much potential. But that's not where this person is at right now present moment, Knight of Cups. This person, why this person is very attracted to you. This person is coming towards you very charming. That's their intention. See, that's this, even with this this um king of crystals here that's the energy that i got like this person is going to take action their intent is to come towards you looking good feeling good with something but i feel like it's to to draw you in i feel like it's to draw you in for some of you guys this person will come with some type of proposal this person is very charming very romantic but i feel like it's all a part of getting what they want this person wants their cake and they want to be able to eat it too this person don't want just your cake though. This person wants other people's cake too. Mm -mm. Show me spirit. Now with this seven of swords, there's some deception in this person's actions. There's some trickery in this person's actions. Show me this seven of swords. Eight of wands. Swift. Yeah. Gosh, you know, I see communication coming in, but this is like a thief in the night. You know, when I tell y'all that this is somebody that shows up, takes what they want and they go by their business. By the time you wake up, it's like this is somebody that comes get your goodies. By the time you wake up in the morning, they're gone. That's what it, when I, because people ask me that sometimes they'd be like, what do you mean a thief in the night? My mom used to always say that. <laughs> My mom and her girlfriends, they used to always say that. And this is this person's energy, like a thief in the night. Somebody that comes in swift, somebody that's a smooth, this person's a smooth talker. Like this person, whether a divine, whether a feminine or a masculine energy, this person is a smooth talker. This person comes in, get what they want, and they go by their business. Show me this two of diamonds. Show me this two of diamonds. Solar eclipse. Big changes are coming. So in about the next six months, you're going to find out the inner truth. There's going to be a transformation. You're going to, I feel like 
this is going to happen for you guys within the next six months. You're going to see this person's true colors, but I also feel like this isn't dealing with this person. You're going to, you're going to meet someone else. You're going to move on to another relationship, another connection within the next six months, or there's going to be a transformation in this connection. Like either this person can come back around and want to do right by you, or you're going to leave this person and you're going to move on to something better. That's what I'm, that's what I've been getting all through this energy. So if this person doesn't step up for you, you're going to step on to someone else. That's what I'm getting. And this is going to happen within the next six months. Show me. Seven of coins. Yeah, this is your, per this is you persevering. You're looking for long term. That's what you're looking for. But things are going to, you have some good things that's coming in. But it says good things take time for some of you guys. You may choose to try and work things out with this person. For some of you guys, you may choose to stay with this person. Now, I do see like, you know, this is going to be a journey. If you choose to stay, play around with this person, this is going to be a journey. You're going to have, there's going to be some ups and downs. I feel like you've already experienced some of it. There's going to be more of it now. This person could choose at some point in time that they're going to, they're going to do right by you. But this is definitely telling me that it's going to be, it's, you're going to have a, a shaky <laughs> next six months before you see a transformation that happens it's going to take patience this if you're going to stay in this this is going to take patience a lot of patience because i feel like at some point there's like there's a, there's a sense of disrespect All right there's a sense of disrespect in this person's actions yeah all right, so in your feelings for this person, we have the seven of crystals and the king of diamonds that both came out in the reverse, okay? You know that something ain't right with this person. You absolutely know. There's a part of you that feels like you're never gonna reach the milestones, like this relationship is never gonna go where you want it to go. Like you and this person, you're never gonna truly align the way that you want you guys to align. Show me this seven of crystals. Show me this seven of crystals. The lovers, okay. There's a choice. Some of you guys, you will have a choice. Some of you guys, you have a choice between two people right now, present moment. But you have a, some self-doubt. Could be with a Libra. A, um, can't even talk. Could be with a Leo or a Gemini. Some of you guys, you could have an option between two people right now, present moment. But there's, for some of you guys, you have to walk away from one relationship to truly go towards another relationship. I feel like because for some of you guys, you've been dealing with somebody, they have your self-esteem a little low. You, you, there's some self-doubt. That's why you haven't, because there's somebody here in some of you guys' energy that makes you feel real good, but you have something long-term that makes you question yourself. That truly makes you question yourself or has made you question yourself. Show me this king of diamonds. Knight of wands. Yeah, you've been dealing with somebody here. Could be another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. It's a shameless flirt. That's how you feel about this person. This is somebody that looks real good. Somebody that's very charming. And... This is really and truly about choosing wisely here when it comes to feelings, because I'm getting, this could be one person that you love, okay? For some of you guys, this could be one person that you really, really, really love. And when things are good, things are good. But when things are bad, things are bad. And then for some of you guys, you could truly have a choice between two people. The long-term relationship has done a number on you. So this new relationship, there's so much fear in going into that direction. So much fear in going to that direction. Now there's some of you guys, you're in a relationship right now, present moment, and you're sleeping with someone else. Or you want to, if you haven't taken any action as of yet, you want to. But there's, you have so much, 
you have so much feelings and emotions for the person that you're dealing with but it's it's not reliable it's like it's almost like saying it's that it's not coming from a reliable source which is your mind it's your mind and your heart because there it's a battle it's a battle that's going on going through because you're constantly thinking about what you're constantly thinking you're constantly feeling and it's like it's, it's like cross contamination like between your mind and your heart it's like cross contamination and it's like not seeing things for not seeing things clearly it's making you question everything like that's what i'm getting in this energy like this person's behavior and this person's lack of behavior is making you question everything about yourself and about this relationship and about should i stay or should i go should i stay should i go there's a very questionable energy here now in now in the outcome we see we have the world and we have strength that's a major like things are going to shift things are going to happen and the things that are going to happen is really and truly out of your control. You know, this is the universe. Things are going to unfold the way that they're supposed to unfold. Judgment here is like trying to control something. Your conflict is trying to control something, but the outcome is out of your hands. Because it takes, you know how they say it takes two to tangle? Here, I feel like it's like it's taking three to tangle. You, the universe, and this person. Show me the world. Show me the world. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There's an, there is a codependency and there's an emotional imbalance here. Show me strength. That's why things are going to end. King of Swords. Yeah. I feel like the outcome is going to be you truly because we have the queen of cups and the king of swords that's cancer scorpio pisces energy with libra gemini aquarius energy this is mind over matter this is not about your heart i feel like at the end of the day look at that bottom of the deck we have the will of fortune now you're at the moment of you have to make a decision i feel like you're going to get to this point you're going to get to the point where now you're at the moment okay i have to make a decision queen of cups that that came out in the reverse like you don't the feelings that you once had this is not like you're taking your emotions out of this and you're trying to use the king of swords energy wanting to do wanting to be honest trying to use your mind trying to be wise trying to be trying to do because you've been you've been moving irrationally and entertaining a lot of this this is you trying to make a rational, logic action, action. Like you're taking your emotions out of this. That's why this is coming full circle. That's why you're ending it and you're manifesting something new. You're finding the strength to do this. It's going to take you taking your actions, taking your, I'm sorry, taking your emotions out of it and using your head, doing what's right, seeing something truly, seeing someone something truly truly for what it is that's the only way that you're going to be getting forward movement that's the only way forward movement is going to happen yeah let's see hmm let's see what's the advice show me spirit what's your advice for my virgos What's your advice? Whoa, okay. You are the breath. Listen and connect to your intuitions. You know, this is all this is telling you and telling me is that you know. Listen to your intuitions. You know what's best for yourself. Nobody can nobody can tell you what you want to endure, what you're capable of enduring, what is too much or too little for you. You know, only you know what's best for you. Only you know what you can handle and what you can't handle. Only you know what truly fulfills you. And I feel like this energy is a big part of that in itself. Because some of you guys, you will choose to stay and endure this energy. Some of you guys, you will not. Some of you guys, you may stay for a little while, but you're not going to stay for forever. Because this is, this is, this energy is, is too much. 
it really is just too much like it's a lot of nerve I'm getting like you're dealing with somebody here that has a lot of nerve and for some of you guys I'm also getting in this energy you may choose for a while to match this person's energy but then what does that do for your future what does that do for your happiness, for your fulfillment, and for what you're trying to do with your life? All right, my loves, if any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and I hope you have a magnificent, magnificent day. Bye, guys.